Hi, my name is Nikki. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing my August bullet journal and this is long awaited. I am so sorry that this has had to be posted late. Honestly, the past few weeks have been absolutely hectic, so busy and a lot of stuff going on. I hope that um, you guys are all right with the late post, but I've been updating you and filling you in on my Instagram, which is at Expressive Journal. So you can follow me on there if you want to see more art related stuff, bullet journal, all that good stuff. And also keep up to date on things behind the scenes. It's a fun time. It's a good time. I've been wanting to do a food inspired journal for so long and I felt really inspired to do that for this month. Plus with some of my recent art pieces such as the t-shirt that I customized with the Great Wave, I thought I can add all of these elements together and create this into a really interesting food themed journal. It's very simplistic and I've used a lot of designs that I've implemented recently because I've been changing things up and I want to hear what you guys think and if you have any suggestions, any ideas, please do share them with me because we're all getting together as a community to support each other and figure out new things, try out new styles and everything. I think being focused on productivity alongside the art element of my journals is something that I'm still trying to balance. And of course, it's a great process. I started by drawing a bowl of ramen noodles and I absolutely love ramen. It's one of my favorite foods. Honestly, I really, really love it. And I also drew the great wave inside the bowl. I just thought it would be nice to integrate the two together. And yes, this is going to be the intro page to welcome in the new month. You can see any of my reference photos, anything that I've been inspired by, everything is linked in the description down below so you can see where my inspirations are. And of course, if I'm referencing anything, you can check that out. For my work, I always use uni pin fine liners. In, and I think I'm just using the color black for this journal. It's very simplistic and minimalistic. I mostly use the 0.2 millimeter fine liner as that usually works best for me. But if I want some slightly thinner and thicker lines, then I'll alternate between 0.5 and 0.1. I didn't want to make this too detailed because one of my recent bullet journals as well was inspired by the Great Wave. So if you want to see that one in more great detail and see more of Hakusai's work, then you can check out that specific bullet journal or you can see the one where I painted it onto a t-shirt. Those two would be really great if you're looking for that and you want some inspiration or references of people's takes on that. I think it was really interesting to try and include this artwork and this art piece into the food and see in what ways can I blend the food and the artwork together and how I can mash it all into one piece. It's a really interesting concept to me and I enjoyed playing around with it a lot. And of course, I'll be writing the word August. I decided to stamp that with some black ink and letter stamps. And also I thought I would write it in Japanese as well. A while ago, I actually started studying the alphabet and different types of kanji and everything, the whole writing systems in Japanese. It was very interesting, but I didn't manage to get that far with it. So I thought I'd give it a shot. So this should say August in Japanese, but if I am wrong, please do correct me. I filled in the background with a Tombow brush pen. I accidentally used one of the wrong colors on the first block. So I then corrected it with the right color and I thought I would just outline the Japanese, make it white and then stamp August in black because the white ink doesn't show up very well. And then we move on to the next double page spread, which is my month at a glance. So basically I have a massive calendar for the whole entire month. Here I write down every single day and I can basically jot down any notes, anything that's happening each day, whether I have a shift, something due, whether I'm going to plan something and I can see the whole month together in one place and of course write down all of the events and things happening that I need to note. Because I wanted to add something extra to the page and also keep the whole journal looking very cohesive, I thought it would be a good idea to color in the outline in black. So I used a Tombow brush pen, but one thing with Tombow brush pens is because this is a Le Mom journal, I find that they tend to bleed through the pages in this journal very easily. So I made sure to be light and not to overlap or scribble or anything, just to make sure that the color doesn't seep through the pages. And you can see it didn't, so I was very lucky there, but again, be careful, especially if you have artwork or specific detail on one of the pages when you need to use a Tombow brush pen. Next, I'm working on the pages for my tracker. 
and my goals. So instead of having the goals on the same page as the calendar, I'm moving them across to another page. So here I can detail what my goals are and the steps that I need to take. And then the final column, I basically write down in like bullet journal format. So um, if I've completed it, if I need to shift it to the next month, if it's been canceled, all of that stuff. So I can keep track of everything and be able to see if I've shifted it to the next month and be able to log my progress and everything that I need to do. On the following page, I have my tracker. So instead of just being water drinking, I have eight spaces for the eight things that I'm tracking. And of course, one block for every single day of the month. And I've listed one to eight what each of the things I'm tracking are. And basically, if I've done it or reached my target, I will cross off the box or fill it in. And there we go. That's how I track. Moving on, instead of homework and revision, I've basically moved all of that into one big to-do list. Basically, since I've finished all of my lessons for this academic year, I'm now on the summer, summer vacation, summer break. So this is just a general to-do list separated into the different weeks of the month. It is the exact same format, just the title and the content is going to change. And I basically have a two block space where I can write down what the thing I need to do is, the due dates when it needs to be done for, and whether I've done it or not, I can just highlight it or cross it through. Sometimes I feel the most simple methods and the most simple ideas and everything like that work the best for me. I often find myself overcomplicating things, but then again, simple is always good. Don't overcomplicate things if it doesn't need to be complex like that. Unfortunately, because of the layout of August, it's just a little bit awkward because we have, I think it's the 31st that's on a Monday and then it goes into the next month. So in terms of the layout of my bullet journal, instead of only having five weeks, I need to do six. And oh gosh, I just hate it when that happens. I much prefer it when the month is actually laid out very neatly and organized and it begins at the beginning of a week and stuff because then it's a little bit awkward with having to do the whole bullet journal spreads and reshift everything everything. But anyway, it's quite easy because I do have in my bullet journal setup a little grid spacing chart right at the beginning that you might be able to see a strip of gold in the corner. So I refer to that whenever I need help with spacing or just a recap or some a rejog of my memory on, for example, like this, the numbers and everything. It is so helpful and I do use it a lot. And to finish off, because I'm not doing things like my revision anymore, I have my mixtape. So I stamped mixtape Spotify and vibes for August. So here I'm going to write down all the music that I'm listening to during the month, everything that I'm enjoying because music is kind of like a method of relaxation for me and it accompanies me wherever I go. It's a big part of my day every day and my night as well because I like to listen to music to help me sleep sometimes. Then on the following page I drew a cup of ramen and I also added in an element of the great wave as well just to make everything cohesive and be brought back together. I began with drawing some structural guidelines. It's almost like the cup's been dissected and I really love the whole vibe of this image. So I had a lot of fun with drawing that and then separating the cup from like the lid and all the different parts. I wanted to keep it simplistic all the same but also cohesive with the rest of the illustrations and designs in the journal. As I wanted to include that element of the great wave, I've found it a little bit difficult to try squash the great wave into this very small space but of course I ended up doing something inspired by it not exact but something similar that could be recognizable and tie everything all in together and that's one thing that I really love to do in my journals is just make it cohesive and often tell a story or have some sort of timeline but I feel since I've been focusing a lot more on the productivity side of bullet journaling more recently I can't really tell much of a story through my illustrations which is a little bit of a dilemma that I am facing but I want to hear what your opinions are and if you have any ideas or suggestions if you want me to do things like play with color more or if you like them being more heavily productivity based or artistry and drawing based. I like both elements and I think it's very fun to experiment with both sides. And of course as always since YouTube is removing or has removed the poll feature I can no longer ask you to vote on a poll for which theme you'd like to see next month so please do comment in the comments down below which theme you would be interested in seeing me doing in the future or next month because I love to read all the comments and you guys give me such amazing inspiration. Now it is time for the flip through. So we do begin with 
the introduction page to welcome in the month of August. Then we move into the month at a glance, which I will detail all of my tasks to do for the entire month and write down everything that's happening so I can see it all in one big space. Following that, we then have my goals page where I detail my goals, the steps to take and my progress. After that, I also have my to-do list where I write down all of my tasks, everything that I'd like to do this month, every little thing and note so I can write down the due date, the type of task it is, and of course I'll cross it out or highlight it once I am complete. Also here's me because I forgot to write down the titles on the page, just writing them in before I finish the video. And here we go to the final two pages where I have my mixtape, where I write down all the music that I'm vibing to and listening to for this month, and of course a lovely illustration of this dissected cup of ramen. And that is it for the bullet journal, I hope you enjoyed. I use my Le Monde journal, also some Tombow brush pens, Unipen fine liners, and alphabet stamps with black ink. So thank you all for watching, I hope you'll have a lovely week and I will see you soon. Bye!